hello guys welcome back today we will be going through cambridge lower secondary checkpoint paper 2 uh, part 1 we will do some questions in this another one we will do in the second video so before we start i would request you guys to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends if you are getting benefit of these videos so let me know in the comment section i will wait for your <coughs> feedback so let's start and uh, this is paper 2 you can use calculator in this one uh, so question number one that i can see here draw a ring around the sum of exterior angle of an equilateral triangle so exterior angle is the angle which is outside uh, of the triangle so let's say this is a triangle and exterior angle is going to be this one like this okay so here this way so as you know that equilateral triangle have all interior angle 60 degree so if this is 60 this is going to be 180 uh, 120 to make the sum 180 so this is 120 this is 120 so exterior angle is going to be so this exterior angle you can even uh, form it on other side so whatever uh, so 120 times 3 is 360 so exterior angle will be 360 degrees right now number two draw a ring around the unit that would be most suitable for measuring the mass of a ship so ship is like huge thing so uh, we will use the units of ton here right now number three mia says y is three more than x squared so y is means y is equal to three more than x squared x squared is x squared plus three so write this formula in terms of x so we can write it down here x squared plus three okay now number four here are the list of five terms of a sequence so find the next two terms so first we need to look into the pattern if you uh, get this number 14 minus 11 uh, if you add three you will get this 19 minus 4 this is plus 5 then this is plus 7 plus 11 so the next number should be plus 11 right then next will be plus 13 so 35 plus 11 is 46 so uh, one uh, term of the sequence is 46 then 46 plus 13 the next one it's 59 6 plus 13 it's 59 okay now number 5 here is the net of a triangular prism so he is net of the triangular prism this is the base which is triangle it is formed from three rectangles and two right angle triangle three rectangle one is here two and three uh, this there are two right angle triangles the question is stick to show if these facts about faces of triangle prism is true or false so let's see what is given to us three faces have same area three faces have same area uh, there are only two faces which are same so which it is false right the area of largest face is 72 so the largest face if you see if this one is 12 so this is going to be 12 as well and this is going to be 13 so th this eight this is the biggest uh, you see this uh, uh, phase so 13 times 6 which is 78 so which is not equal to 72 so this is also false question number 6 point a has coordinates 1 and 2 you see this is point a has coordinate 1 and 2 uh, point a first translated by vector 3 1 3 1 means uh, 3 a x movement is 3 and y movement is 1 so 3 uh, so let me move this one 3 units right it's positive so it's gonna be right 1 2 3 3 units right and 1 unit up so a will come over here so a is translated to give b so this is now point b now then next step this one is b is then translated 
by vector 0 negative 5 0 negative 5 means this x there is no movement of x and y is negative so it's going to uh, going towards down 5 units down 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is now c so let's see the coordinates going uh, towards x axis if you move there there it is from 0 to 4 this is 4 and negative 2 so final answer is 4 and negative 2 right question number 7 uh, pencils can be bought in small packets or large packets we have two packets here uh, small packet has three pencils large packet has five pencils uh, mike buys m small packets and n large packets m small packet and n large packets all together he buys 86 pencils draw a ring around the equation that represents this situation so we have a small pack small pack he buys m small pack so one small pack contains th uh, three pack pencils and 3m will be 3m right and then the large is n so n large is going to be 5n so plus 5n all together it is if you add them together it's 86 so 3m plus 5n 86 so here is the equation that we will circle question number eight the graphs shows the cost in dollars of different masses of strawberry and raspberries this is strawberry here this is raspberry here find how much more you see remember how much more one kg of raspberry cost than 1 kg of strawberries so we need to have uh, the cost of both uh, for 1 kg so 1 kg of this strawberry 1 kg of strawberry if you go along this way it is in the middle uh, so this is 4 6 so this is going to be 6 and 8 so 1 square represents 2 so 4 and 2 6 so uh, 1 kg uh, this is the strawberry uh, strawberries 1 kg of strawberry costs 6 dollars right okay and uh, here is about raspberries uh, raspberries 1 1 kg here we have given different different here 2.5 so we cannot uh, actually get it from here uh, if I go along this is 10 10 kg 10 kg of raspberries have 100 so i will write 10 kg of raspberries 100 dollars and 1 kg is divided by 10 it will be dollar 10 right so 1 kg of raspberry 10 dollar and 1 kg of strawberry is 6 so what's the difference so the difference is 10 minus 6 that is dollar 4 so dollar 4 is going to be the final answer right now number nine it will take five workers 12 days to harvest some apples calculate how many workers are needed to harvest these apples in four days so we are looking for number of workers so number of workers i will write down there uh, so 12 days so five workers can finish work in 12 days right uh, this is practical question you need to think guys about this carefully five workers uh, can finish work in 12 days one worker same work same work one worker will take more days right so 12 times if we use only one worker 12 times 50 uh, 5 right and uh, that because it's uh, getting more number of days so we will multiply now we are looking for 4 days so for 4 days how many workers are needed so how many workers are needed for uh, 4 days so this we have now 60 days right so I can write down because we are looking for the number of workers so 60 days will be taken by five workers right so how many workers do we need to make it in uh, to finish it in four days 
as now this is different from this one 60 days 5 workers 4 days meaning less number of workers so 60 divided by 4 I think making some mistake let me recheck I think we can write it in a reverse way uh, so 60 days we have here 60 days uh, 5 workers 4 days uh, will be and you are going to divide it by yeah this is right this is right actually uh, 60 divided by 4 uh, times 4 5 15 15 days yeah, I was just confused with this so this is right 4 days if we have increased uh, uh, decreasing number of days we are going to divide it so it is 15 days so final answer is 15 days right now uh, number 10 complete each statement to make it true so 8 over 4 you see 8 over 4 and we have here over x 4 x sorry so that means this is divided by 4 so we will divide this also by 4 so divide everything by 4 so this will become 2 here so this is 2 over x uh, next one is a y power 11 and we need y power 12 so one more y is needed y power 1 11 plus 1 it will make it 12 so here w power 10 so w is needed uh, to make power 10 we should have 5 here 5 times 2 is 10 law of exponents we are using over here right now number 11 a train company uh, says the probability that train arrives at station on time is 0.85. Ahmed selects a random sample of 80 trains arriving at this station. Calculate the expected number of trains. So, it is very simple 0.85 times you are just going to multiply it. I have already multiplied. So, I am getting here 68. Right. Now, draw a ring, uh, sorry, draw lines to match the equivalent inequalities so this is x shift one to other side so this is x greater than or 2 plus 1 is 3 so x greater than 3 is here so this we are going to divide it by 2 divide it by 2 this is 1 here x greater than 1 it's here so this will be multiplied here x times x is greater than 2 right now solve this we will shift this to other side 11 is less than 20 plus 2x and bring 21 on other side 11 minus 20 is less than or equals to 2x this is minus 9 less than or equals to 2x over 2 over 2 so x is uh, uh, negative uh, this is 4.5 is less than or equals to x so that means x is greater than or equals to negative 4.5 so x is greater than or equals to negative 4.5 question number 13 here are the coordinates of four points a b c and d uh, tick to show the midpoint of each line segment is above on or below of the x axis so we will find out midpoint of a b first midpoint of a b we are going to add the x coordinates that is 4 minus 4 over 2 this is negative 6 plus 5 over 2 so this is 0 and this is negative uh, 1 over 2 that is negative 0 0.5 so negative 0 0.5 if we here uh, x 0 is here and negative 0 0.5 comes here so that is below the x axis so this is going to be below x axis uh, midpoint of cd 3 minus 3 over 2 then minus 2 plus 2 over 2 right so this is negative 6 over 2 is negative 3 and 0 so negative 3 is this side somewhere and 0 so this is on x axis so we will tick this one right now number 14 when 80 is increased by a percent the result is between 5 105 and 10 so 106 107 108 and 109 it's between uh, this range a is multiple of 4 it's multiple of 4 so only number find the possible value of a so only number which is multiple of 4 is 108 so you can divide 108 by 4 4 times 2 8 4 times 7 28 so it is uh, divisible uh, what do you say fully divisible no remainder 
so that means 108 is the possible answer for a okay so can do this question again or we will just do this in the next video i think you guys understood everything so let me know in the comment section so remaining question we will do in the next video thanks for watching kindly subscribe and share it with your friends and write your feedback in the comment section god bless you guys